And just like that, it feels like it's summer in Canada. <laughs> We like skipped over spring completely. It's like 30 degrees today. Hey, I'm Janelle and this is to DIY for. If you're new to my channel, I do new DIYs every single Wednesday. And um, if you're not new to my channel, you probably know that I've worked on our patio space in this specific apartment for the last couple of years. So I've done a number of DIYs and makeovers and things related to it. You can go check out those videos. I'll leave them linked for you. Um, and the space is pretty well where I want it to be. Not a lot of major changes this year, but there's always been this major eyesore. You see it every time you sit out there and I've hated it this whole time. So I finally came up with an idea on how to tackle it, make it nicer. We've added like a mini little vegetable garden in the small space that we have, but also killed the eyesore with a very simple privacy screen. So this might be something that you can actually use if you also live in a balcony, require, um, you know, you don't live in a balcony. <laughs> I mean, have a balcony and maybe live in an apartment building. This might be a really great DIY for you. It's a really simple privacy screen that you can make for cheap. So let's get into the DIYs. So we're gonna start with the planter box and I'm gonna be pretty quick with this because it's basically the identical design of uh, something I did last year. It was a planter box slash tabletop for our patio. So I will leave that video linked for you. It will have really detailed instructions on the design for this. This one is bigger and it obviously doesn't have the table on the one side of it, but it's basically the same. I'll leave the measurements for what I used linked below, but it will depend on your railing and what you're building. So I built the back of the box here with the two sides screwed into place, and then I have the top here piece or the front piece with the uh, top piece that goes over top of the ledge. I just kind of built it in sections for what worked for me because I was working on my own, and um, I don't have any clamps, which is kind of stupid, but I don't. So use some pilot holes. That'll help you to not split the wood at all also makes it easier when you are working on your own to screw things together. And you can prop things up with wood like I'm doing here for this piece. As you can see, I've pre-drilled all of those screws into place. That's also something that's gonna help you out a lot if you are working on your own. Now for the bottom of this, I simply just took a piece of wood and yes, it doesn't cover the whole bottom, but wood is stupid expensive right now. So I skimped out on that. Plus it's just gonna allow some drainage. I uh, screwed that into place and we're gonna cover the bottom with weed barrier to collect all the soil anyways. So I sanded this down quickly and then I gave it a paint job. We went with white paint. It matches the rest of our patio and I did two coats of that. And then while it dried, I tackled our problem area, which is this, yeah. This is where all of our recycling and garbage goes for two apartments, so it can actually look pretty gross. And our landlord said he was gonna build something for it, but it's been three years and he hasn't. So I'm going to cover it up with this. Now, this is a blind. It's like a, a bamboo blind that I picked up off Facebook Marketplace. It was only $10. Super simple to cut through, as you can see, with scissors. The two pieces at the end needed to be cut through with a saw. But I basically cut it down a size, wrapped it around, and then I just kind of threaded in some string in the back piece to hold it tight together. And it's just gonna be covered by garbage. No one's gonna see that. So this is how easily the planter slides over top. We're gonna use some weed barrier and my staple gun here. Staple that into the bottom to catch all the soil. Here's a terrible shot of just my arm. And then fill it all up with soil and some plants. We have an awesome community group and I actually got all of these plants for free. So we have a few lettuces, some cherry tomatoes, gonna do some peas. And I know I understand this is a very small space. I hope I didn't overcrowd it. I guess we'll see. I'm hoping that I can draw some um, yarn or string up to the ceiling of the patio with some 3M hooks and that those plants will be able to vine upwards. And I'm hoping that the squirrels don't destroy this too. We have a real problem with them. I've put some cayenne powder on. Apparently that should hopefully keep him way but what do you think of this space I mean I think it looks a hundred times better I'm super thrilled with it and it was pretty inexpensive to do let me know what you thought of this DIY and don't forget to subscribe I'll be back next week with another DIY